What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with the Page, and this is the announcement for the crowning round of Not Tape for Workathon. Congratulations. It's a book. <laughs> so not safe for work -a This round is all about pregnancy. For this month long readathon, we are looking at all things pregnancy related. The thinking behind this is that when people with uteruses are in their third trimester, usually it's probably not the best idea, especially coming up to that due date, to be close to work. I know some parents are able to do that and kudos to you guys, but we thought we would just theme uh, this round over the pregnancy related concepts. And I am so excited to be able to put this together for you. Whilst it is running for the month, there are also some adjustments that you can make to your pregnancy and so I want to talk through those before diving into the prompts. So pregnancies don't always naturally just run the same course so if you want to start the readathon in the last week of May that is choosing to go into preterm labor. If you want to choose your own end date you can have a c-section. If you want to run the natural course then we just go for the month from the 1st to the 30th and that will be a natural birth. If things change and you want to end it abruptly one of my co-hosts will be giving birth in June so she might have to abruptly end the readathon and have an emergency c-section. If you didn't tune in last night to the baby shower, I'll leave that link down below, joined by some amazing people who are helping to be the birthing partners for this round. So I have Crystal from Bum Book Reviews, who is the lovely, wonderful person that is due in June. So she probably be having a baby during this readathon, which just fills me with joy. Barb from Barb's Bookland, Eva from Pretty Purple Polka Dots, Kara from Bianca Reads, KJ from Bookish KJ, Erin from Shiva and Shelves, and Caitlin from Mad Cheshire Rabbit. So I hope you really like this idea and obviously I don't want to poke fun at anyone who is struggling with their infertility. I know that that is so many people go through and this isn't to make a mockery of that. It's just the idea of people with uteruses coming to the end of their pregnancy and you know needing that time to just prep for the human they are about to birth into the world. So those are the dates. You can pick and choose your own to make it a little bit more interactive. For the prompts if you want to use the list we have them all laid out this way. But because of the nature of my TBR game and needing to pull prompts, I decided to create little icons which I can pull out of the bag and I have created a printable so if you want to use them as well, feel free. They are rather crude. They are not anything like G from Book Rose's amazing graphics that she put so much effort and time into. So just go in knowing that they were created in Canva and I have zero creative abilities. So <laughs> shall we reveal what they are? I've got them all in this cute little book sleeve from Made by Alyssa. There are 30 prompts so feel free to pick and choose the pregnancy that you would like to have and you can double triple up however you want to do. This is completely chill so feel free to mix and match whatever you'd like to do. I've just given you a lot of options to be able to make your pregnancy however it goes. For me I won't be choosing my pregnancy. I will be pulling the prompts so um it could go very interestingly. And yeah so let's reveal what the prompts are. The first is Braxton Hicks, read a prequel. Dilation, read a book that will stretch your mind. Then we have First Trimester, to start a new series. Epidural, read a book that will remove your pain. Stretch marks, read a book with a beautiful cover. Swollen boobs, read a big book or a book that's more than a handful. Sperm donor, have someone else pick your book. Swollen feet, kick your feet up and relax. Pregnancy pilling, snuggle down with a book. Water breaking, read a book you think you'll be gushing over. Laughing gas, read a funny book. The final piece, read a book in one sitting. Forceps or vacuum, pick a book that you think will suck or you want to grab by the haunches. Lack of sleep, read at night. Baby brain, I've forgotten what the original prompt was, so have a mood read. Third trimester, read a book in a series you're almost done with. Leaky tits, Read a book from a publisher or author that's milking the industry. Fourth trimester, read a children's book. Pregnancy cravings, fulfill that snack attack. Water birth, read in the bath or a book that has water in it. Prepping the nursery, build your collection, aka treat yourself. Surprise, it's twins. Read a duology. Ultrasound, cold words or colors in the title or on the cover. Perineal tearing, read a fast book, one that you'll tear through. Breach, read a book in a different format. A bonus points if it's manga because they read back to front. Morning sickness, read sometime in the morning. Placenta pills, read a book that's questionable in taste. Parental leave, do something for yourself. Back pain, read a book with a broken spine. 
second trimester. Read a series continuation. So those are all the 30 prompts for your pregnancy crowning round of Not Safe or like a thon Like I said, feel free to double up, triple up, however you want to do it. Pick and choose your own, do as many or as little as you want. I'm just so excited to see what I pull and end up doing. I hope that you like them and think that they're funny. I definitely love, surprise, it's twins, read a duology. I feel like if I get that during my TBR game, I might cry a little bit inside because I then have to add two books on. But feel free to stretch these as much as you want. There are also self-care prompts mixed in as well, like um, parental leave, do something for yourself, uh, swollen feet, kick up your feet and relax. So <laughs> there are some non-reading prompts in here as well, and so you can potentially just do those. However you want to do Not Safe for Hackathon is totally up to you. Obviously I'm not going to go for every single prompt, or I will try and double up as well many as possible instead because 30 books is a lot so <laughs> we'll see how we go but yes i'll leave everything linked down below so you can pick and choose your start date end date or you go for the whole month if you would like feel free to double triple up prompts if you did join us for the baby shower last night i hope you have a lot of fun with the different games and all that chaos that was happening <laughs> And if you would like to check it out, feel free to check down below for all the information on the Readathon, uh, previous videos and things like that. I will have a recommendations video coming out later this month, which I am so excited to make. Like, holy shit, it's going to be glorious. Please go check out my co-hosts. They are amazing people. Barb will be doing sprints and a 48-hour readathon. Crystal and I will be continuing our lives on alternating weeks, birth dependent. <laughs> So we'll have a lot of uh, fun with those and I'm just I'm so excited for Not Safe for Workathon to be back. We had nine months off to get this baby brewing. I don't know if anyone did notice but I've been dropping hints about the theme throughout a variety of different times and places. On the Twitter I had so much fun coming up with the different things to post. Oh it's glorious. So we conceived Not Safe for Workathon uh, nine months ago and now it's here ready to go and I really hope you enjoy. I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun with this and I just I'm so happy that it is back and I'm joined by some glorious people and we're gonna have a lot of fun So I'll leave everything linked down below check out whatever you need Let me know in the comments if you're thinking of participating and or what is your favorite prompt? I had so much fun creating them and yes feel free to use either the graphics or the list That's totally fine. I just was making them for myself So I thought why not share it with you all Ash's baby is going really well. Its name's Matilda If you like this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!